Okay. So this conversation is my opinion and my knowledge and what I see. So if you disagree with some of this, that's perfectly fine. You're allowed to disagree with me as I'm allowed to disagree with you. We all have different opinions. And those opinions will vary from time to time. I've been coming out here um, hopping on all winter. The mild winter we had here in southwest Florida. With that being said, I'm, I'm not shy about my location. I don't care. You want to come out here and enjoy this? Please, do so. You pay three bucks at the front gate and you can spend the entire day out here from sunrise to sunset. Um, it's a little place called CC Web. Bangkok Ranch is connected to this, but it's all the way at the other end. So, please, I, my location's not secret. I go to beaches, I name them what I name them. They're not necessarily what they're called. So anyhow, my location, I'm not worried about. You want to stalk me and follow me? <laughs> Good luck. I work three jobs. This is what I do in my free time. I do have two days off in a row now. Other than that, I for five days a week, I work at least three jobs. And on my two days off, I still work one job. I'm watching after an elderly lady who has fell. And she's in rehab. I found her on the garage floor when I came, uh, got to my safe house, which is her safe house, which is her house. It's not her safe house. It's my safe house. So uh, I'm house sitting. I take her food because at the rehab center she says the food is gross and she refuses to eat it. So I have to take her food. Um, she's lost at least 10 pounds being in there. She went from 74 pounds to 64 pounds so um that's what i still do when i leave here i got to um what do i gotta do something tells me i gotta stop at walmart pick up some brock's hard candy for her and i have to stop and get her lunch and then i'll go have lunch with her Back to why I was started this whole conversation. As you know, I'm behind the gun range today, and I have been for the last couple weeks. And as I said earlier in a previous clip, this will be my last time out in the woods until winter, late fall. It doesn't get cool here until November, December, and hopefully we'll have a cooler winter because this winter sucked pardon my French but it did not like we had three days where it was like 40 degrees in the morning that was it in the morning before sunrise after that I get up to 60 degrees during the day at the lowest so we haven't had winter down here like we did the year before which bothers me when it comes to hurricanes but I'm totally getting off the subject back to I'm behind the gun range I've been coming out here for the most part of all winter there has been a line at the gun range every morning every morning I come out uh, this morning was the least amount of cars I saw lined up ready to get in five they have been as many as 12 parked out on the edge of the road waiting to get into the gun range at sunrise America has guns. We, the people, have guns. I am a concealed carry. I carry it with me everywhere I go. I don't care whether they like it or not. I don't. The places that I quote unquote am not allowed to carry it is the places that I do worry about. In the bank. In the post office. In the shopping centers. <sighs> I go through school zones with my gun on me. I'm a responsible gun owner. I'm not going to shoot anybody unless I feel threatened. 
But I'm going to tell you, and I want to know from other people about your gun ranges by your house. Check them out. Even if you're not a gun activist, it's okay. You want to be protected when all hell breaks loose? Find a concealed carry because they not just have one gun. They have multiple guns. As far as the government wanting to take our guns, it's not going to happen. Because they'll have to pry it out of every dead American hands that owns guns. That's the way we feel about our guns. They're our guns. They are our protection for our safety from the government. We the people outnumber the stupid people in Washington, D.C. Cars right there. I'm going to stand here in the shade. I'm a proud gun owner. I'm a responsible gun owner. As most gun, or, going on, gun owners are. The shootings you hear about that three-year-old that found that gun. There's two stories behind that. The one they want you to read. That the gun was left out and the three-year-old got a hold of it and shot her six-year-old brother. Them are irresponsible gun owners. And I would bet that every three to four out of five stories that you hear about that, then people probably don't even have the right to have a gun. Yes, they're American citizen, but they're a felon. The path they chose does not allow them to carry a gun or even own a gun. Whether it's a shotgun, a pistol, an AR-15, I'm not familiar with a lot of guns. Um, but those people are probably are not allowed to have guns. Um, and if they are, well, they shouldn't be. Because if you're leaving your gun out for someone else to get a hold of, a toddler, a kid, a juvenile, then you're not responsible gun owner. You're being an irresponsible gun owner. The trigger should always be locked, which mine isn't, but I don't have kids. I'm not around kids. If I was around kids, my gun would be definitely locked up tight to where that kid would be no means to be able to get my gun and shoot somebody. Their sibling, me, their mom. It, it just doesn't happen. I know people that have five guns, 20 guns, a room full of guns. Them guns have never shot anybody. Nor will they ever shoot anybody unless the person that owns that gun is threatened. Whether it's by an individual, somebody whacked out on drugs, or the government. I, first couple trips out here, I did carry me mine with me. It's a little 380 uh, semi-automatic as fast as I can pull the trigger. But anymore it stays locked up in my car when I go out hiking. Um, and really the only reason behind that is I don't feel the need to carry it. Um, <laughs> I could pay the price for that one day. Whether it be a snake, a bear, a cat. It could be any of those things and they're out here. I'm in the woods. This is nature. It can happen, but I don't feel that it would. Um, there's plenty to eat out here for the wildlife. So I don't feel that the bear's going to be hungry enough to look at me for this next meal. Or a cat. Uh, we have panthers here in Florida. They're endangered. There's quite a few of them. Watch some trail cams from Florida. You'll see a cat. You'll see a bear. I saw a big bear on a trail cam out of... Uh, North Everglades, I guess you could call it. And uh, that was a big bear. 
bigger than I would be expected to see down here because everybody's like, oh, the wildlife's so small down here because most people that I know are not from down here. Everybody's kind of moved down here. So, just have you know, a gun is not a bad thing. The person holding the gun could be a bad thing. But for most of us that owns guns, we're responsible. It's locked up, got a trigger lock on it, probably more than likely doesn't even have a clip in it or a bullet in the chamber because that's not the way we keep our guns. Um, mine is loaded all the time. It doesn't have one in the chamber. But again, I'm not around kids. If I need my gun, I need it to shoot. I don't have time to unlock it, pull the cable out, shove a magazine in, shimp the chamber, and then pull the trigger. By then, whoever's threatening me probably done killed me. So I definitely, definitely, I'm prepared to shoot. All I gotta do is slide the hammer one time to lock and load that first bullet. And I don't even have to do that. All I can do is pull the trigger, from my understanding. And it's lock and loaded and ready to go. Um, but I don't carry one in the chamber. Because that's how accidents happen. So, that was my little rant about guns and people and safety but yeah definitely go check your local gun range um, here in southwest Florida we deal with a lot of heat nine ten months out of the year so people come out shooting either early in the morning or in the evening and there hasn't been a morning yet that there ain't a line at the gate to the gun range um, ammo has gone up in price Everything's gone up in price. Minimum wage went up. Everything goes up. Gas is still well over 250 a gallon down here. A uh, case of pet or 12 pack of Pepsi went from 3.33 a case at Walmart to 4.45 because minimum wage went from. Oh, don't quote me on this. I want to say it went from 8.50 to nine dollars an hour. I think it might only be 875, but it's a quarter. I wonder if that's an eagle. It's got a white head. Should be coming over the top of that tree up yep, there. He is. Could be an osprey too. They have white heads. It's got good pictures of one the other day. But anyway, have a nice day. I gotta go. It's getting warm out here. I gotta take the elderly lady some lunch. And then I gotta get ready for my big adventure this afternoon. I might film a little bit on the way out at the gun range or whatever. Um, if I see something. And other than that, everybody have a good day. That was my rant. I'm sorry I had to get that off my chest. But the big adventure this afternoon will be fun. Um, I gotta figure out how to get my 20 foot eight, 28 foot sailboat off of the rocks by myself. Somebody have a good day. We'll talk to you later in the next adventure.